Our mystical companion, the moon. If you look at the sky on a clear night, you can easily get absorbed in the beauty of the moon. It's such a mystery. However, from the point of view of our planet, the moon seems to be much more than simple fascination. Our celestial companion is one of the largest moons in the solar system. Only three of Jupiter's Galilean moons and Saturn's largest moon, Titan, precede it. Since it is definitely the largest moon regarding its mass ratio to its planet, it has a great dynamic impact on Earth. The Earth-Moon System Without the moon, the tilt in the Earth's rotational axis wouldn't be stable. It would constantly be changing, making the weather totally unpredictable. Therefore, the moon stabilizes Earth's climate. Besides, the moon gravitational pull generates the so-called tidal force, which played an important part throughout the evolution of terrestrial life. Earth's gravitational force and lunar viscosity break to the moon's spin so much that it rotates at the same rate that it revolves around Earth. Because of its synchronous rotation, the same hemisphere of the moon faces Earth all the time. Lunar Phases The moon goes through a complete moon cycle in about 28 days. Depending on which part of the moon is in sunlight, different lunar phases can be seen from Earth. In the period of new moon, the side of the moon that is in darkness faces Earth. During the first quarter, a larger and larger part of the moon seems illuminated viewed from Earth. So, the crescent-shaped moon becomes half-moon by the end of this phase. Then, the sunlit part of the moon keeps on growing until its hemisphere, we can see from the Earth, is completely illuminated. Finally, the same phases follow each other in reverse order. In the Moonwhile According to current physical theory, both the formation of the Moon and Earth was the result of a cosmic catastrophe. Presumably, not long after the formation of the solar system, a Mars-sized planet crashed into the young Earth. As a result, both bodies were partly destroyed, then reborn because their debris basically created two new celestial bodies, the Moon and Earth. The same origin of the Moon and Earth can be proved by the similarities between terrestrial and lunar rock samples. All in all, the Moon seems to be our Earth's twin. Therefore, our inexplicable fascination with the Moon is now getting understandable.